it's Kat here and I'm going to show you how to do a closed granny square. I can't believe how it turned out and it is really really easy to make so without further ado let's get into it. I'm using Simply Super Chunky paint box yarn and a 10 millimeter hook but you can use whatever you want with a corresponding hook and first of all I'm going to start with a magic circle. So for our magic circle we're gonna take the yarn and lay it across the three fingers of my left hand, pull on that tail and then do that again. So wrap it around one, two and three times. Then I'm going to hold this piece of yarn with my little finger and my thumb. So we have three loops around your three fingers. Now what you want to do is you want to take this loop and pass it underneath these two here. Now you want to take this loop here and pass it over the top of these two. This loop over the top of these and through the hole. All right, and to do that, we're gonna use our crochet hook. So we'll take the hook, get, get the hook, put it through from back to front, over these two, and then all you want to do is grab this first loop here and pull it through this hole, okay? You take your hook, hold your, hold your hook like this, take this loop and put it over. So you're yarned over now. You have that yarn on your hook. And then all you're going to do is pull it through that loop. Okay, so it should look something like this. Now you've got your magic circle, hurrah, you can take your hand out. Now you can start crocheting into the circle. Now we are going to chain three. So I'm going to grab my yarn and pull it through that loop again. So that's a chain one. That's two. And three. Now I'm going to mark this stitch just to show you exactly where the first stitch is because this counts as our first stitch. And you might want to do that too with your stitch if you have a stitch marker. If you don't have a stitch marker you can just use a hair clip or something like a piece of ribbon or another piece of yarn just to mark where that is. And now I'm going to do two double crochets into the circle. So I'm going to yarn over, go in and pull up a loop. I have three loops on my hook. Now I'm going to pull through two of those loops and then I'm going to pull through the last two. And I'm going to do that again. Yarn over, go through into the circle Pull through two and pull through two. So now we have what looks like three double crochets and this counts as one double crochet even though it's not. It's a cheeky chain but we are treating it as such. So this is like the side of the square. Now we're going to chain two. So grab the yarn, pull through, grab the yarn, pull through again that's going to make the corner and then we're going to turn around into the next side so we're going to do three double crochets and then another chain three double crochets another chain and then three double crochets and another chain and that will make up our square that's one and you can see there's a gap here which is what should happen. Two, three, and then you're going to chain two, one, two, and then you're going to go double crochet one, double crochet two, And three. And 
chain two. Can you see how it's forming a little square? And then, come on, Jeannie. Oh, there we go. Double crochet. One, two, and three. Okay, so you're looking a bit funky at the moment because you haven't closed the circle yet, which you're gonna do now. And we're back to the start, look. So now you have your tail here, and we're just gonna close the circle, okay? So we're gonna pull on, pull on this tail, pull on the tail, and that will pull on one of these two loops here, eventually. then you can kind of jig it about a bit, but you want to pull on the other end of that loop. And that will close the other one. And then just pull on the tail. And it pops your ankle, there you go. And that's a lovely little tiny square. It's cute. Now I'm going to just chain another two. One and two. Take this off and I'm going to put my hook right into this stitch here. Might be a bit tricky, but once you've got it through under these two loops, and then you want to grab, grab the yarn and pull it through, and then you want to slip stitch so you want to pull it through again. Okay, there is the start of your closed granny square. That's your first round done. On to round two. We're going to chain three as before. One, two, and three. And that counts as one double crochet. Then we're going to double crochet in the next two stitches. So one, two. We're gonna yarn over, go in, pull up we have three loops on our hook pull through those two and then pull through two yarn over go into this next one pull up pull through two and pull through two so now we have three double crochets here now we're gonna make our corner but we need it to be bigger so we're going to expand by double crocheting into the space and we're going to double crochet two into that space. So yarn over, go into the space, pull up, pull through two and pull through two and then do that again. Into that same space do another double crochet and then to make it the corner we're going to chain two, one, two and then we're going around the corner and then in that same space, you want to double crochet two again. So that's one and two. All right. Now you see you have three stitches here. One, two, three. You're going to do a double crochet in all of these and the same on each side. So each of these three groups or these groups of three, these three stitches above, you're going to be just doing one, one double crochet in each of these. One, two, three. Then we're gonna move on to the space again. In the space, double crochet two. Chain two. Around the corner. Pass go, and then double crochet two into that space again. All right, then we're going to be doing exactly the same thing and just make sure this stitch might be concealing this, this V here. This is the next one you want to go into. All right, so just be careful with that. We're gonna go yarn over and then go in, pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through two, Go in, pull up, pull through two, pull through two, and then go in again, pull up. 
So you have three actual double crochets in the stitches and then you're going to go again for the corner hole. You're going to do two double crochets, two and then chain one, two, round the corner and then in that same space you want to do two more double crochets. So in the same space, one and two. So make sure you don't miss this stitch, you go into this first stitch, one, two, three, and then we do two double crochets in the corner space, one door, chain, as we go around the corner, one, two, and then you want to do two more. Your last two double crochets. And then, making sure it's nice and flat, and you're gonna just slip stitch into that last, that third chain that you made. Right. And there you have your closed granny square. I'm just going to fasten off and weave in the ends. This would make an absolutely beautiful blanket. Comment below if you'd like to see the whole blanket and I'll make all the squares and join them together nicely. And you can hopefully follow along. I'm just gonna weave in the ends. Okay. And then we have our finished square. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I would absolutely love that. If you like using this type of yarn, you're going to love this video where I make a chunky baby blanket. I'll see you there.